Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you look around the back of your Boss Katana, you might notice that there's something called an effects loop. An effects loop is a way of adding external effects to your Boss Katana amplifier. And this can really enhance the sound of the amplifier. Now, normally with effects loops, it's normally time-based effects loops, things like reverbs, delays, and choruses. But you can also add distortions, overdrives, boost pedals, whatever you want into this circuit as well. Now, before we get started, uh, you guys know the drill. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. And also, thank you to everyone for buying me a coffee. I really do appreciate it. And if you do want to buy me a coffee, you can do in the link below. Right, let's get to it. What I've got here is my MXR M300 reverb pedal, which is a really high quality reverb. Now, the reverb that comes in the Katana is really good, but Unfortunately, it doesn't really compare to what you can add on to the Katana. So a pedal like this really enhances the sound of the Boss Katana. So first of all, what we're going to do is to plug the send, which is the output of the back of the Boss Katana, into the input of the pedal. So what we're going to do next is to plug a cable into the return of the Boss Katana. And the other end of that cable is going to be plugged into the output of the pedal. And now let's have a look on the Boss Katana Tone Studio app, what we can do with it. Okay, so let's turn it on. So what I've got here, let's turn the pedal off to start with. So there's a signal just coming from the Boss Katana. So if I switch the pedal on. can use the reverb that's coming from that pedal. There's a couple of controls on Tone Studio which we need to be aware of. So the first thing we can have a look at is post amp and post reverb. So this shows where in the chain this reverb pedal is going to come in or whatever pedal you decide to put in. So post amp comes just after the tone stack here and post reverb comes after the reverb. Now if we go to our chain here we can sort of I can sort of explain better where this comes in. So Post amp comes in right here after the amplifier and on this chain it'll be here, this chain it'll be here, and in this chain it'll be here. So I'm using chain three here, so we'll just use that as the example. Now post reverb would come after the reverb. So that comes after the delays. So if you did it post amp, it would come before the delays and post reverb comes after the reverb and the delays. Now we've also got this mode setting here and we've got the choice of series and parallel. So series, is a connection that comes straight through the amplifier, through the pedal, and then out again. Now, if we choose parallel, parallel takes a separate signal and wires that effect in that then comes back down to the output. As my pedal's got a mix control, I really recommend using series. <laughs> Now, if I choose parallel, you're gonna get a sort of phasing effect as I've got this mix control. So let's go back to series. The send amount is the amount of volume that I'm gonna to send to the pedal, and the return amount is the amount of volume that's gonna come back from the pedal. So if I bring the send level down, we get absolutely nothing because it's in series, it's going straight through. Now, if I put it in parallel, I still get signal as it's taken a bypass route to the output. Let's go back to series. So I've taken away the reverb pedal now and I've put in a trim pedal. And the reason why I've done this is because this hasn't got a mix control on it. So if I have it in parallel, you can just about hear the tremolo effect in the background, but let's bring it into series. I 
I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. And also we've started up this new thing on a Wednesday night at 8 p.m. BST, which is British summertime. And it's a Q&A with myself and James Ivey from the Studio Rats. So if you wanna join us there, you can do at 8 p.m. BST. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.